I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about an introduction to inequalities. Now, whenever you talk about inequalities, you're talking about using these following symbols. Less than and greater than. Now, sometimes, if equality is OK, you might see less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. So you'll often see these symbols used in equations or simply comparisons between the two. So for example, you might see something like x greater than or equal to 3. So you're talking about numbers for x that are equal to 3 or larger than 3. You might see inequalities used as part of equations. So for example, you might have x minus 3 less than 4. To solve for that, you would add 3 to both sides. So your final inequality would be x less than 7. So that means the solution for this inequality would be numbers for x that are strictly less than 7, things like 6.99, 2, 0, things like that. The only thing you've got to think about for inequalities is if you have, let's just say you know 3 is greater than 2, if you multiply both sides of an inequality or divide both sides, of an inequality by a negative number, you have to change the sign. So for example, if you multiply both sides by negative 1, you have negative 3 and you have negative 2. But you can't say negative 3 is greater than negative 2 because that makes no sense. You do have to switch the sign. So that's really the one fundamental rule you have to think about when it comes to solving inequalities. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief introduction to inequalities.